Welcome to a thing of beauty. I am Ashwati and here I share arts and crafts. This is the second video in the Autodesk Sketchbook mobile tutorial series. If you haven't watched the first part, I highly recommend you watch it. I'll put the link in the description below. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of the rest of the tutorial videos. I had participated in Inktober and November this year and every single drawing I made was using the sketchbook app. I will put the link for both Inktober and November playlist in the description below and you can check them out. Today we'll see the tools. Autodesk Sketchbook Mobile has a lot of tools in it. This is the selection tool. There are many types of selection. Let's go through one by one. The first is rectangle where you can select an object by drawing a rectangle around it. The second type is lasso which lets you select the object in any weird way that you want. And the next type is a magic wand to let you select the color. Now there are different options in it. This is a tolerance for magic wand. This is a selection type. If you want to select more objects you can add and then select other items. Now I have used the magic wand that is why this has been selected. If I use a rectangle let's say let's try that once again. With the magic wand, I selected the white color and say I want to select something else. I can draw the rectangle and keep drawing and all these will be selected. If I want to remove a portion in that, I can choose this option and cut those portion out like so. If I want to move this i choose the magic wand and select my star and i can move the selection let's go to the next one that is transform transform like it says transform what you have drawn you can the first option is to distort it you have many key points here you can pull on one and adjust the shape as you want. And here we can nudge it as well. You can just randomly drag it also. If you pinch and zoom, you can you can hold with two fingers and rotate. Or you can flip it horizontally as well as vertically or you can rotate it at 45 degrees in the anti-clockwise and clockwise direction now let's see the fill option you can fill color in three ways the first way is called solid fill where you fill one solid color in the whole canvas. The second way to fill is a linear fill where you can fill a gradient. So you can make this in any direction but it will be in a linear way. You can add any number of midpoints or you can just drag it away and remove those points. Now if you want to change these colors, select on the circle and choose a different one. Now you can keep adding as many as you want. The next option of filling is radial fill. With that, it fills radial like so. And as I showed earlier, you can change the color.
Now this last one that you see is the option where you can adjust the tall faces. Next we will see guides. Guides are basically drawing tools which help you. The first one is the roller which will help you draw straight line. And this is your curve ruler. You have three magnetic points for these. And the last one is the ellipse tool. When you double click on this, it will form a perfect circle. As you pull it out, it forms wider ellipses and this cursor will let you rotate the axis and make it big or small and this is the symmetry tool it is one of my favorite tools also because i love to draw mandalas in it now what is a mandala you might ask i have drawn many mandalas before i'll put the link for the mandala playlist in the description below so what the symmetry tool does is this is the vertical symmetry where if you draw on one side it reflects on the other now this is the horizontal you can actually have both horizontal and vertical symmetry at the same time now the third one is a radial symmetry and this is my favorite one where i draw mandalas with you can have as many as 16 sections this is the maximum that of disk sketchbook mobile has and here you can rotate the axis however you want and clicking on this and moving will allow you to fix it in any location the next one is the drawing styles this is very simple it helps you draw a line a novel or a rectangle the next one is predictive stroke now this has five levels what this does is it makes your lines smooth the next tool is to import an image you can download from your gallery or you can directly download from the camera next one is perspective guide one point perspective guide this is with two points and this is with three points now i can make a tutorial in itself for the perspective guides if you would like to see that drop your comments in the comment section you can move the perspective point by clicking and dragging the center you can rotate it by clicking and dragging this circle and like we saw in symmetry you can lock it can hide it the next one is text here you can type
last option is time lapse option where you can record your drawing video in a time lapse form in time lapse format so i hope you are familiar with the tools if you have any questions or suggestions do drop it in the comment section below if you haven't watched my first video do watch it there i explain the introduction and user interface in the next video we will see the brush palette i will show you the brushes that i use the most and what i recommend for drawing i will also show you the brush settings so until we meet next time see ya